Another great example of a chemical change is actually one that if you've got a gas um, cooktop at home and you turn it on and light the cooktop, you've got a gas barbecue at home and you turn it on, what you're actually doing is you're burning a natural gas called methane. So methane is, is just a, a, it's a gas, but it's really flammable. You can burn it and you burn it in um, oxygen. So there's oxygen in the air. If you get some methane, and you give it a, a, a little bit of uh, heat, it'll start burning in the air and it'll, it'll uh, emit, it'll actually, um, it'll emit, uh, light will come out of this reaction um, and it'll also, uh, something else that'll happen when you burn methane is heat will, will happen. But that's got nothing to do with the matter that makes it up. So we've got some methane over here and then if we mix that with oxygen in a chemical reaction, we actually get uh, two different things. So we get carbon dioxide and water. So if you burn a gas in oxygen, so these two things join together, they actually form two different things. They form carbon dioxide and water. And it's really hard to get this carbon dioxide and this water back to oxygen and methane. But also something really interesting about this picture is you'll notice that the, the, the number of balls at the top here, so the number of balls on this side and the number of balls on this side are actually very, very similar. And this happens in all chemical changes. So what happens is we don't, we never, in chemistry, we never make anything um, totally new. We actually just rearrange the little teeny tiny particles in things. So this is a good example. So we've got one black ball here, and it's actually a, a it's called an atom of carbon, and we've got another black ball here, and there's no other black balls. But this black ball over here, this actually had one, two, three, and actually got another one there. It's got four white balls joined onto it. And over here, there's four white balls. So those four white balls are hydrogen atoms. So that's what the H stands for. And we've also over on this at, at the start, we started with one, two, three, four um, balls of oxygen. And you know, that's the little O. And over here, how many have we got? One, two, three, four balls of oxygen. So what happens in all chemical changes really is the things that we start with uh, and the things that we start with are actually called reactants. Reactants, not very good writing. Um, reactants, the things that we end with are actually called products. So the reactants, what's over, over on this side of the equation is actually the same as what's over here, but they just rearrange. So chemical changes are changes where we make new things. So we've made carbon dioxide and water here from methane and oxygen. Um, they're really hard to reverse but they actually involve just a rearrangement of the particles involved in the um, chemical reaction or the chemical change. That's all about chemical changes.